it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm back for a test tile today because in my new environment in Asheville, I've got people and friends from uh, here and out of state asking for some tiles, some for coasters with my earth tone colors. And what I've got here is my Chantilly lace. There's the consistency. This is for Bloom, Bloom recipe. That's from Prison Pour. This is 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Hope you can see the consistency. I gotta work, figure out how I'm gonna do the lighting in this room. So it drizzles off the stick and leaves a little bit of a trace when you spread it. That was Nicolazzo Gold and Burnt Sienna by Golden. This is Obsidian by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. And this is Iridescent Bronze by Golden. And I did thicken it up just a little bit because this was a fluid art, fluid paint. And I added a little dab of this to it to thicken it up just a hair. And then I've got my white cell activator. This is mixed with Australian Floatrol. That's um, Amsterdam's Titanium White. And this is Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And I can't get a good drizzle on this. There we go. See how it bungeed back up? That's what you're looking for. I hope that these are mixed to the right consistency. And these as well. And I have my Multi-Pro PPG here, just raw white. I haven't done anything to it. I've taken it out of the can and opened it up this morning to let it get a little thicker. So that's my lineup. I'm gonna use a uh, recycled tile and I'm gonna put it on my typical Noosa cup. So I'll see you back down here in a second with my pillow paint down. Hi, everyone, it's Louise. I'm back for tile number two test tile. And this time I am gonna back off on the bronze a little bit. My first color here, the Chantilly lace. Oh, I've got a, look at this. A bug taking up residency. I'll probably splice between colors to save time, but this is the Chantilly lace. I think I might have laid a little too much of this down last time. So I might back off just a little. Next color is gold. Next color is golden's burnt sienna and Nicolazzo gold. My next color is obsidian. The way I mix these this time, it's much more liquidy. This is the bronze. I'm going to put less of this down this time. While it's beautiful, I don't want it to take over. Okay, cell activator. My white. I don't know if you can see, there's a nice halo there, which is what it's supposed to do. And then the black. And here we go. So those of you who have watched me know this, but for the newer folks, Basically, as I'm blowing, I'm thinking of skimming 
that cell activator over the paint and the paint over the pillow, like a wave coming into shore. I'm just blowing the paints over the pillow paint, not pushing hard into the pillow, but blowing over the top of it. Once again, now it's interesting because the cell activator is immediately popping back up in the middle this time, which is usually, if you've been following me, you'd know, um, I've got to blow with a straw to get the cell activator to activate. Maybe it's not so thick this time. Maybe it's different. Something's different. But either way, the cells are just coming right back in the middle. Without having to, without me having to uh, work too hard at them. All right. Let's let this sit for a minute. Let me get the cell activator back in its place over here. Okay, here we go, folks. Make sure we're centered. Nice easy spin. Let it start to stretch. You know, I am about 2,600 feet higher off the ground than I was in Fullerton. I don't know if altitude has much to do with anything, but you know, we'll see. It's got the color. I just need the colors to get along with each other. So let's clean this up real quick. So far it looks promising. So for anyone newer watching, what I do is I scrape up the drippings into a cup and I strain it and then use it for a pillow paint the next time. Oh, that Nicolazzo gold is amazing. Oh. It's really pretty. It's really easy to blow it out. I think the paints are thinner. We'll see if the cells hold up good. Okay, I still gotta get this off. If you've noticed what I did there. One of the things, if there's a certain section I want to get off or move, what I'll do is that will be the starting spin point. And I've had some physics classes and I think that maybe it helps in jarring it off faster than if it was just anywhere in this turntable. Wow. 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 Oh my God, it's so pretty. I don't know if I want to do any more with this. Yes, I do. I want to get this little bit off. So I'm going to start up there. And hopefully that jarred it a little bit more on the start so it spins off. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, folks. Look at this guy. Oh my God, he's so pretty. So one of the things I've shown before, and if you're new, when you, when I uh, try to get the paint off, I always pull out and then down. So I don't get a line on the tile. That was not the best example. Here's a good spot. So you pull out and then back in. And that prevents you getting a line across the bottom. It just makes it cleaner. All right, so here she is. I'm stopping with that one. Just gorgeous. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll do a couple flybys on those two.